What's up, you guys? My name is Wayne, the owner of Hunter's Vending, and today we're going to be showing you guys what to look for when you're purchasing a used vending machine. Me, I like to save my money. I don't like to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on uh, new vending machines, but maybe later on in the future, when I get my money up, man, then we're going to make them purchases on beautiful vending machines like this right here. But guess how much I got this for? $400, man. If I keep finding deals like this, there's no need for me to buy brand new vending machines, man. These are the type of deals that I'm looking for. But anyways, check this out, y'all. So when you go to purchase a used vending machine, of course, you want to check out the front of the vending machine. And most of the time, that'll let you know how they kept up with the vending machine, man. See, this right here, I automatically can see that, you know, it's good. They, they took good care of it. But, um, you know, you check to see if your bill uh, acceptor is on here. And then you want to open it up. Come on, follow me, follow me, follow me. Then you want to check to see if it has a, a coin, a coin changer. So this right here is what uh, you look for. This is going to give you your coins back. So when you put a dollar in and you press the coin thing, this is going to uh, shoot your money back. So check this out, y'all. Bam. So this is the coin tray right here. And you want to fill this up. Look, 25 cent, 10 cent, 25 cent again, 5 cent. And if you got quarter dollars right here. So this is for, uh, you know, a high capacity location to take care of you right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back on in there. And by the way, this is a Wittern soda machine. It's a Wittern. Check it out right here. Um, 35.78 Wittern. So that's the brand right there. This machine is like four to five thousand dollars brand new, and I got it for four hundred. All glory to God, y'all. But anyways, you want to check to make sure you got that, and then you want to look inside. And this is your board right here. This is the main thing that runs the whole soda machine. So you want to check the wires, and you want to make sure everything is intact. Everything is plugged in. You know, you check the wires, make sure nothing is cut. Bam, so everything's all intact, it's all looking good. And this right here is where your change, change is at. This is where you collect your change, all right? And you can put it back on me. One of the most <laughs> important things that I like to let the people know before I come is to plug the vending machine in so that it's already cold. So tell them to put some drinks in it and to check, you know, so when you get there, you can just open it up and check that it's cold. So, check this out right here. Bam, that's the inside of the soda machine right here. You want to check this right here and make sure it's all clear, all clean and stuff like that. This will let you know how uh, well they kept up with the, with the vending machine. Because normally, this will be all dirty and it'll have a whole bunch of debris right here. And that'll let you know, like, okay, they ain't really taking care of the vending machine. It may be some work. So... So when you come and check the soda machine, you could actually put your hand right here and you could feel the air blowing and you'll feel that it's cold right all right here. And the reason why you want to tell them to have it running ahead of time is it takes time for a soda vending machine to get cold. It may take like 10 to 15 minutes. Come up here, wife. So you want to open it up. Man, man, if you tell them to put the sodas in ahead of time, you're going to be able to just grab the drink and be like, oh, this is cold, you know? And if you don't do that, you're taking a risk of getting a vending machine that's not, uh, that the compressor is not working. So come back here. All right, so you want to come to the back of the vending machine and you want to look back here and you want to check the compressor and make sure that the fan in here is running. So you'll see the fan. I don't know if you guys can see it, but all right. So let me spin the fan. So there's a fan right there. Bam. You want to make sure that's spinning. And this is, this is cut on. This will be shaking. It'll cut on. And it cuts on and off because it keeps the temperature uh, at the proper uh, degree. So it's going to cut on and off. And another thing I want to let you guys know is never unplug anything while the machine is on always cut the power off because um i've tried to connect something while it was on and it just it is. you don't want to do it trust me you'll ruin your machine man so always cut the power off 
And right now I'm gonna cut the power on for you guys. All right, so here's my power button right here. Bam, we online, y'all. Hey, so as you can hear, pretty sure you can hear it. So let's come to the back real quick. And as you can see, it hasn't cut on yet. And the machine won't cut on unless the door is closed. So make sure the door is closed when you got it on. All right, as you guys can see back here, the fan has cut on. So that's what you wanna look for. This is like one of the most important things is making sure that it gets cold and also making sure that your board is working on the vending machine. And another thing that you wanna look for is you wanna make sure your bill acceptor is working. So as you can see, my lights aren't on. Check this out. So it's not gonna take any bills right now. You wanna know why? Because there's no change in the coin changer. Check this out. If you want to test the bill validator, you got to put change in it. So I'm going to pull this out. Bam. I'm going to take this out. And get some change. Right, put some quarters up in this G thing. Bam, so we filled up. Not all the way, just enough to test it. Bam, that's back in. It's gonna read that the change is in there. Close that back in. And when I close it, you should see this light come on. Oh, actually it's on right now, we online, look. It wasn't on before. So now you'll be able to test your bills. So this is one of the things you want to check out to make sure it's working. Bam. One dollar, we online. 10. So it's giving it back to me because everything is sold out, of course. All right, so after you check the bill acceptor and you check the coin changer, they made that lemon look so juicy. What's that? Line. She over here talking about juicy. The machine look juicy, y'all. Don't it make you just want to get a drink? <laughs> yeah. All right, so on most of the vending machines, they're going to have this in there. So I'm going to test a single selection motor. So I'm going to press the service mode button, which is right here. Check this out. Uh, most of your vending machines are going to have this. So you press this to enter into the service mode. Bam. Then it says press eight and then wait a moment, moment. All right, so I press eight and then it says enter selection number to test and motor will start. So I'm gonna enter selection 10. You can go ahead and go over there so they can see it spin. You want to go through each selection and make sure each motor is working but for this machine it's high tech so check this out i can actually where is it at counting test single motor i can actually do a diagnostics on the whole vending machine i can do a motor count so i'm gonna do a motor count for y'all a lot of uh, machines have this also so let's do a motor count bam i press the uh, blue button for the service mode and then press two and wait a moment. Sorry, so come over here so they can see it. And then I'm gonna press two. And then that's my motor count. So I have 10 selections and I have 10 motors working. So all my motors are working in the vending machine. And then also this vending machine has a diagnostics for the whole vending machine. So it'll let you know if the bill acceptor is working. It'll let you know if the coin coin changer is working in a, a error with display. So, see it? So let's go through that real quick. Let me show you guys that. Bam. 
and then press zero for diagnostics. So come to the front. Okay, so I press zero and then one. All right, so it's testing. Get close to it, they can see. So yeah, it's good, see. refrigeration is good. Good, good. The bill acceptor is good. So it's pretty much cycling through the whole vending machine. Let me know that it's good. Not all soda vending machines have this option, but this one does. All right. And of course, it's a plus if the light is working, you know. All right, so let's go over everything, everything that we discussed. All right. One, you want to check the display, make sure the display is working. You want to go through all your numbers, make sure those are all working. You want to check your bills to make sure it's taking bills. Make sure you bring some change with you so you can check that. And you want to make sure it's giving change back. Then you want to come back here. Then you want to make sure it has a bill, the bill uh, acceptor so they can take the bills. You want to check your wires and your cords to make sure everything is intact. Then you wanna check your coin changer. You're gonna check your coin changer, make sure everything is here. Then you wanna check all your motors to make sure everything is spinning. Then you wanna to check to make sure the vending machine gets cold. Put your hand back there. Or you can also put your hand back here and you can also just tell them to have it plugged in ahead of time before you get there and then you want to check right here and you want to see how much debris and dirt and see how well maintained the vending machine is and you want to come to the back of the vending machine then you want to come back here and you want to check to make sure your fan is spinning. And then you want to check inside of here. You can also see how dirty it is in here. That'll let you know how well maintained the vending machine is. And that's pretty much what I look for when I go and get my used vending machines. So it's good to know what you're looking for so that you can will and deal with people. Like, hey, this is missing. Hey, that's missing. Because if you don't know and you're not up on game on what's going on and what you're looking for, they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to see that you don't even know what you're looking for and it's going to slip right by you. I've encountered this before. You know, lessons learned, just buying vending machines. As you can see back here, I got vending machines back there that don't even work that I just went out and bought. So I want to make this video to make you aware of what to look for when you get out there. You know what I mean? So this same thing applies for snack vending machines. You know, you want to check the coils for the snacks. You want to check the bill acceptor. You want to check the coins. It's the same process with the snack vending machines also. But um, you guys stay blessed. I hope everybody is good out there with this whole coronavirus stuff, man. I'm praying for the world. And uh, don't let this stop you from doing your vending thing, man. Let's get out there and get it. Get your money, man. But first of all, put God first, man. And all things fall into place, man. Hunter's Vending, we out.